All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm so excited to be here. My name is Audra Mesa, and I am the coordinator for literacy and language here at the Orange County Department of Education. And I'm here to introduce the wonderful uh, STEM Race to Space Reading Challenge that is happening this year. And I would love to turn that over to Pat Burns so she can tell us all about the reading challenge and all the exciting things that are going to be happening. Thanks so much, Audra. It means so much to have the support of Orange County Department of Education in this uh, crazy times that we're all going through. And uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of who I am, what we're doing, try to keep this to five to eight minutes. Audra, kind of keep an eye on the clock Absolutely. for me because I do tend to chat on a bit. So I'm Pat Burns. I'm the co-founder of the Orange County Children's Book Festival. I'm the founder of the STEAM Race to Space Reading Challenge. And we flipped this year instead of having a live festival, which we knew we wouldn't be allowed to do it because our event, if you've been there, you know, it draws 18 to 20,000 people. And that just was a no-no right now. So, um, yeah, so we're doing this reading challenge because we care about kids and we care about the, the fact that they become inspired to maybe consider the areas of science, technology, engineering, the arts and math. And so with that, we've, we've launched this reading challenge. Uh, registration will begin October 1st. And so this video is going to be just a quick, short overview of a PowerPoint that we're going to make available. Um, Audra, we can do it through um, the, the weekly sendings and so many other ways. and. And I can email it directly to anyone that cares to, to have it. So yeah. all of the resources of OCDE are, are at our disposal. So Wonderful. we'll make sure folks get it. So I want to be able to share my um, desktop. Do you want to give me the ability to? Absolutely. Maybe I think I can do it. Oh, I, I can do it myself. Should, I got it. Perfect. You know, Zoom always takes a minute or two to figure <laughs> it out. So this real super, super short. This is a long PowerPoint. I'm not going to go over it. Because as I mentioned, I am going to send it to you. Uh, but I'd like to start off with a little giggle and a little smile. Uh, yes, yeah, so you, I don't know if any of you experience this on your first couple of days of school where kids are like, Psst, how do you turn this thing on? And it's a book, right? So hopefully that'll make a, bring a little smile to your face. Just briefly, this reading challenge will launch October 22nd. It'll end November 12th. And as I shared with you, it's really quite extensive. We've got lots of slides here. Um, I'm just going to share with you a couple of quick things. We want to launch it inside of classrooms on Friday, October 22nd. We, this is a TK through 12, so it's going to hit all grade levels. Uh, picture books, we want to do them nice and early while the kids are awake and sharp at 9 a.m. And the early readers will be at 10, middle grades at 11. And the teen high school kids will be at one o'clock when they're awake. So just real quick, what does this mean? We're going to have 14 amazing authors at three to four in each of the reading categories, share their books that they've written about the STEM areas. And will, this will be live streamed and available right into your classroom. And Audra, kind of piggyback on that a little bit, how that, what that will look like. Well, it's going to be exciting because if teachers have the time available that aligns with those programs that you see on that slide there, they're going to be able to log in and actually participate live and in person with those authors reading. But we know the reality of schools and a Friday schedule may change. There may be field trips you know, planned. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these videos available so that even if you want to participate in the STEAM Race to Space uh, reading challenge, but you're unable to participate on that Friday, you will have access to those videos asynchronously for the duration of the challenge. So your students will still be able to access the learning and the exciting opportunity to hear those authors read. Just know, though, we would love to have you live. We would love to have your questions. Absolutely. Uh, participate live would be the best, but we understand, and that's why we want to make it uh, workable for everyone. Some of the authors that we have are New York Times bestselling authors. Uh, Philippe Gusteau will be talking to the little kids. He's, of course, uh, a celebrity oceanographer, filmmaker. He's on um, Amazon, Live, uh, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Discovery Channel, Shark Week. 
He's a wonderful, compassionate human being. Just had a new baby girl, second child. Super excited about that. Uh, going into the early reader, we've got nice diversity in our presenters. And New York, again, New York Times bestselling authors. Middle grade, uh, same wonderful Jean Yang, a Korean, a very popular cartoonist. And um, Brandon, TV actor, does voiceovers for anime and many cartoon series that, of course, the middle grade kids are going to lo would love. Um, Jennifer, scientist, a great, great presenter, wonderful, pumped, excited. All of these bios are going to be available at the end of this PowerPoint. So let me just briefly show you. It's going to go into much more detail with everybody's website. So if you want to find out more information about the author, of course, that's all going to be available to you. What is important that you know and that I share with you is that there is a website that uh, that is on our website for you to put your information in, which when it pops up, it does look like this. Teacher, uh, welcome teachers on this iPad or on the cell phone, excuse me. And this is for you to be able to say, I'm interested in participating. That way we can send you information uh, all along, clips of videos and everything that you might need to know. On, um, you can send in questions in advance uh, by October 18th to pat at readsteam.org. That's me. And this way we can fed those questions on to the MC who can then direct it to each of the different authors. So of course it would be a good idea for you to review those authors and have a chance to glance at their books. We have posters available that you can download. And by all means, we want to be able to acknowledge you as teachers to just know that we know that engineers make bridges, artists make paintings, scientists make rockets, but teachers, you make them all. So we acknowledge that this is a lot to put on your plate, but we think the rewards will be phenomenal. We have amazing prizes, and I will go over that in another video. But for now, I, I just want to, again, close with knowing that for us as a group, we aspire to bring light and hope to Earth from the darkness of space and the depths of the oceans. We want to get kids pumped about STEM books and open their mind and ignite their hearts. We're doing this with the support of a lot of people, Department of Ed, Public Libraries, Discovery Cube, PBS, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Wild Vanessa Insurance, Rise Up Foundation, Orange Coast College, major publishers like Simon & Schuster, Scholastic, Four Space, and of course, the Orange County Department, excuse me, the Orange County Children's Book Festival. So I hope that this has been exciting for you to think that, hey, we could do this. I'm available for questions, pat at readsteam.org. And Audra, I'm going to throw it back to you to close and see if there's anything that else you think I should include. No, Pat, you covered it all. I'm so incredibly excited for this opportunity for all of our students in Orange County. So I encourage site administrators to make sure your teachers have this about, um, information and for teachers to take just a quick second and sign up on the website to make sure that you're registered so you have access to all the amazing opportunities that this event is going to provide to your students. Thanks so much for your time, Pat, and for sharing this uh, valuable information with us.